here is what I sold in the last 24 hours. So yesterday's video, I talked about how my sales had ticked up on eBay and now it's dropped from six, seven to two sales. <laughs> but the day is young. This is, this is your ones from yesterday. So today is Thursday. Uh, what is it? December 7th, 2023. And I mentioned yesterday that I sold this for a DVD and this is the one I sold it for a second time. I just happened to come across it again. If you remember, I made a lot of videos about this DVD because these kind of items can be found at thrift stores for really cheap and you can sell them quickly for good money. Uh, this one I, I got in a local buy a video I made a few days ago, uh, last week actually, <clears throat> about uh, I bought over 200, 230 some odd DVDs for 50 bucks. And that was one of them that was in there. And there was another one that hasn't sold yet that should sell for around the same amount. This one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Um, so that was really nice out of a $50 spend on all those DVDs. And I already made back around 30 bucks of that. <clears throat> Look out for this DVD. It sells quickly and for great money. So I wouldn't take less than 40 bucks, $39.99 for it. You'll sell it all day. And if you come across a lot of copies, then you're going to be getting some quick, nice profit sales, assuming that you got the, the disc for pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. I, but I plucked that one off the thrift store shelf. Um, and you just have to get good at finding that kind of stuff. Now, on the other hand, this book only sold because Henry Kissinger died a couple of days ago or this week. Uh, if you're not familiar with who Henry Kissinger is, feel free to look him up. Uh, he was 100 years old. So he literally was born 100 years ago in 1923, I believe, obviously, to be 100. Um, he could have been born in 1922. I don't know when his birthday is. But yeah, and this is a book about him. I sold it for $29.99, I believe, plus shipping. Yeah, plus shipping. I'm not quite sure where that book came from, but I've had it for sale for a while. And that was a nice sale. So that's uh, $30 and $40, $70. So not too bad. At least the items that I sold went for good money even though I didn't have a large quantity. Um, so this is one that's selling all the time. It sells, basically there's a 100% sell through rate within 90 days, but I would say within, if you price it correctly, if you're not pricing it insanely high, if you're pricing it for $70, unless it's sealed uh, as a used copy, then it's not gonna sell. But if you price it where it's it's <laughs> people are paying, then it will sell quickly. That's the thing about eBay, um, Amazon as well, but about eBay is you need to price it to move it you know, otherwise it's just not going to sell. If you're trying to resell and make money, then you got to sell your items. So definitely price it to sell. This one obviously was not highly sought after. Um, but what happens often in reselling is a famous person, whether they are a political figure, whether they are a singer, whether they are an actor, uh, whatever it may be, if there's a book about them, if there's music, if there's if there's movies, often those items will go up in price or the interest will go up suddenly out of nowhere, whereas this book sat for quite a while and now it's sold because he passed away and people are interested to learn more about him or whatever it may be. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. You never know when that's going to happen, when someone famous <clears throat> is going to pass away, but you'd be surprised that you, you might have items in your inventory that relate to that specific person. And I just happen to have that one. Um, that I believe I listed last year. It could have been earlier this year, but it's been quite a while. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have sold it and got out of my inventory. So yeah, we'll see if sales pick up today. I haven't had any sales today yet, but the day is young. It's only, I don't know, close to 8.30 in the morning. So have the rest of the day to see if any sales come in on eBay. And uh, I know I'll be listing at least one item, that record that I got today. So yeah, you know, it, this is how it is, basically. Uh, even though I sold really well since the weekend. Um, we'll see if it actually does slow down today or if it picks back up for my eBay sales, but that's what happens. You just gotta, you gotta keep listing quality stuff. That's the bottom line, right? List quality stuff that's going to sell for a nice profit in a relatively short period of time. If you can sell everything the same day you list it, awesome. Then you found really awesome items that sell quickly. But when it comes to books and media, I find that you've gotta have a mixture Inevitably, you're going to have a mixture. You know, you're going to have something that's going to sell right away, something that's going to sell a couple of weeks, something that's going to sell in a month, something that's going to sell in three months. 
others that are going to take six months to a year or longer. But just make sure there's lots of profit in there and that you have the patience, which I mention all the time. You got to have the patience uh, because if you're, you know, I don't have that much patience, but I do forget about certain items because I keep listing new ones and, you know, and items sell every day. So that's a good way <laughs> to forget about items and not get too obsessed about something that's been sitting for a very long time is just keep finding quality items and keep listing them and keep selling them. Um, but yeah, you know, that's going to happen with books and media. There's certain things that sell right away and certain things that'll take longer. But if there's a lot of profit built in there, I would say at least selling for 30 and over, then, you know, that's good. But maybe your threshold is 40 and over or 50 and over. It's going to take, if it's going to take longer than let's say six months, I would say that's a long, that's a long tail item. Um, you know, it's up to you. Some people would say, oh no, if I'm going to wait six months, I want to sell it for over a hundred dollars. Then great. Then you're going to want to drop the price of some of that, those items that have been sitting, or you want to get rid of them and not, not have them in your store. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.